These condemned houses, which now stand without doors and windows, are where over 150 police families are currently staying, a few months after the same officers forcefully evicted out the original occupants. Because the houses were condemned for human living, all windows and doors were broken down, but now police has replaced this with polythene bags, torn clothings and sacks. For passers-by, it was hard to know what happened inside the blue iron sheet fenced houses, but a recent heavy downpour brought out the grim reality facing the police in Uganda. It is poor accommodation, feeding, and it is filthy. And when it rains, they take refuge in our homes. We are not using those structures because we so much want them. We, we are actually using them for security purposes. Police had initially said it will stay in the houses to make sure all the former occupants are out, but now it appears that it also had interest in the structure since even the government plan to rehabilitate the area has failed to kick off. They evicted people under the pretext of developing the place, but instead put up a barracks. Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson Id Ibn Senkumbi says the existence of police officers at the place is purely for security purposes and safety of the people living around the area. So some of them may already be feeling it negatively, badly that uh, they were evicted under the pretext of developing the place and it has taken this long and could be the people raising some of these complaints. The Naguru Nakawa flats became vacant immediately. The old tenants were evicted to leave room for the investor to put up new structures where the tenants were to be given opportunities to buy some of the newly built houses at cheaper rates. This has, however, remained on paper to this day. Zamzam Siraj, WBS News, Naguru.